Hi everyone, this is Pas from Dark Tower Interactive and today I'm going to show you how to use your own character within the ACF framework. Actually, there are multiple ways of doing this, so we are going to start from the simplest one and then we're going to try to cover all the way of uh, actually uh, being able to use your own character within the system. So, basically the first thing to do is open your own character blueprint in our case, uh, we are using the, the player character. Uh, the player character is a blueprint which he inherits from ACF full player BP. So basically we're going to use a child class of the ACF blueprint character. First of all, of course, let's locate the mesh component and let's uh, put our mesh asset inside the mesh component. In our case, we are going to use this wonderful skeletal mesh of this Helven Archer. So the first the first method to use is compatible skeleton, compatible skeleton, sorry, which is in my opinion the most simple, and if you can use it, it's probably the best way to go. So just locate the sorry the skeleton of your character and let's open the retargeted source window if it's not uh, natively opened you can just make it appear by clicking on windows and selecting uh, retarget source here and then let's add with, uh, among the compatible skeleton the acf1 in particular the acf ue4 ue5 money and the ue4 acf ue4 money which is this one so now that we have the compatible skeleton selected, we can just, uh, let's go back to our character blueprint and let's select the animation blueprint. Uh, here we are. The ACF humanoid ABP is the one set for the UE5 mannequin. Uh, in ACF, you have a, a root, uh, an in blueprint template, which can be used for any skeleton and two child anim blueprint that are set to work for the UE4 skeleton and the UE5 skeleton. In our case, as we were seeing, our uh, Helven Arches is rigged on the UE4 mannequin. So we are going to select for now the ACF humanoid UE4 animation blueprint. And let's search for UE4. The, the default humanoid is for the UE5 and the one with UE4 specified is the one for the uh, UE4 mannequin. And by doing just this, it should work. Let's compile, let's save, and let's give a try. Hit play. And it's kinda working not really what we expected to do, mostly because not all the skeletons are actually made to be compatible with, between each other, but I think this is actually done. A couple of animations are working, a couple of animations are not. So, let's try with the second method, probably we were more lucky, and the second method is basically assigning one of the skeletons to our character. In this specific case, if we select our uh, the mesh that we want to use, we go into skeleton and we select assign skeleton. We should select within the ascent combat framework the skeleton that matches the most our character. In our case, we see that the default skeleton used by the mesh is the UE4, so we can select the UE4 accept it and save for now we'll make writable and so let's try again and here we are it seems to work as intended including the EK I guess let me try Yes, also the legs are bending properly, so cool, as intended. If you are facing any issue in one of those two methods, just let's try to restart Unreal, especially if your character remains stuck in typos, mostly because it seems that there is an engine bug in which sometimes 
your character gets stuck in the pose and all your modification in the skeletons gets not saved automatically in this case just try to uh, close the engine and reopen it again and if for some reason your character remains with the feet attached to the ground even when walking uh, this may be that the uh, EK is not properly set in your mesh and the proper way to fixing this is basically making sure that when your skin your mesh uh, to the real skeleton you make sure that the EK bones are actually properly uh, properly skinned to, to, the to the mesh as well uh, one, with one of those two methods, you should be able to use any humanoid mesh on ACF. None if those two methods will work for you, the only way will be basically go with the uh, with the with the real retargeting system, which is slightly more complicated and will also duplicate all your animation. We can make your workflow a little more messy because, yes, we will have to handle with thousands and thousands of animations and every time you want to retarget it you will basically duplicate all of them so if you can in my opinion the best would be to remain with one of those two methods the assign skeleton or the uh, the compatible skeleton which will give you very fast expected result without having to uh, dig into complicated things and you also don't have to duplicate all your animations and an blueprint which will make your life a lot easier so now that you have your character ready to go the next thing will be of course to start modifying your an blueprint with your animation this will be covered in another tutorial, but as for, as for now, what you need to know is basically that you can work with ACF by just plugging in your animation without touching a single line of code. As we can see from here, we can just plug here our movesets, which is basically blueprint with pre-made logic in which you just have to add your animation like this one you will have all the needed animation and that's it so i hope you like this tutorial if you did please subscribe to this channel to get updated every time a new tutorial comes out or a new update for our tools and see you in the next video bye